Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is the Chief IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So friends, also we have a mains answer writing series in which what we do, we daily uh, provide you a certain number of questions of which you have to write the answers. So lately students were demanding that please uh, upload the model answers also of those questions which you provide daily. So upon that uh, request we decided that what we will be doing we daily we will be daily discussing one question and its answer in a comprehensive manner so you so that you can get an idea about how to approach uh, the answer writing practice uh, uh, in this examination. So as uh, it is difficult to discuss all the questions because it consumes a lot of time so we have decided that we will be providing you only with one answer so that we can provide you a, a little bit of direction. So first question is healthcare is incomplete without proper drinking water and sanitation facilities comment so here you have to uh, the question is about the relevance of uh, proper drinking water and sanitation facilities in healthcare so we have to comment on this so uh, before starting answer let me tell you friends that this is not a model answer because in UPSC no answer can be a model answer uh, had that been the case every topper would have scored 100% marks but their marks range between 50 to 55 percent so you can better call it uh, a reference source so let's start our discussion so first of all uh, uh, as you know that the question is about proper drinking and sanitation facilities drinking water and sanitation facilities so you can start by by citing some report or you can uh, uh, start by by citing certain some uh, some data to to uh, to uh, start your answer so here we have included up the report of world health assembly in which uh, uh, world health assembly passed the resolution in may uh, 2019 to catalyze domestic and external investments to re reach the global targets uh, of ensuring that 60% uh, of all healthcare uh, uh, of, uh, for, of all healthcare facilities have basic wash services by 2022 and at least 80% have same by 2025 and 100% of all facilities provided uh, provide basic wash services by 2030 so this is basically a target of uh, world health assembly so you can remember these targets so why it is important so we have to discuss about what is wash so wash is basically water sanitation and hygiene so it stands for these three things so these three things are very important in healthcare so that because uh, 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 the the target of uh, today's country uh, uh, today of India is to achieve universal health coverage and then there must also be a quality primary health care services and then uh, then there is issue of equity and bridging uh, the urban rural divide that is there and in addition to tackle the diseases and other health related issues that are uh, that are associated with the lack of these facilities and also it is one of the major causes of death in children under five because lack of water uh, sanitation and hygienic facilities uh, seriously affects children growth development and their overall health health so the for that purpose these facilities are important so let's see in detail why uh, how healthcare is incomplete without it and why it is important so first of all you might be knowing that wash as i've told you proper drinking water sanitation and hygiene and if there is not proper drinking water uh, then there mu there must be there there could be infections that could take place that 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 was uh, that were otherwise preventable so also uh, these facilities are important so that uh, uh, the uh, in fact in healthcare facilities also the, uh, the pr uh, there is a proper control and prevention of uh, 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 infection uh, uh, spreading of the infection so infection prevention and control are severely compromised had, uh, if there is no uh, kind of uh, uh, these uh, wash facilities and in avoidable infections in fact also uh, lead to more usage of antibiotics because if in case if a person is infected with, with the, uh, with a particular uh, uh, we can say pathogen then uh, that could have been uh, that, that that could have about uh, been avoided the the if uh, had there been any uh, proper facility then there is a uh, use of and uh, micro uh, these uh, uh, by, uh, antibiotics and then there is a increasing case of uh, 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 microbial resistance so that that which is a major uh, global concern emerging now so according to uh, the data of 2016 an estimated 896 million people globally had no water service at their healthcare facility and in fact 1.5 billion people do not have uh, uh, this uh, hygienic facility available 
uh, on on their uh, on in uh, on 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 in the in the institutions in which they get get healthcare. So if so much uh, number of people are not getting these proper services of drinking water, sanitation, and hygiene, then how can the infection prevention and control can be effectively implemented? And as a result, uh, uh, all efforts that are taken to improve the maternal, neonatal, and child health are undermined. So government is making, for example, government of India is also making intense efforts. But if there are no proper uh, sanitation facilities, hygienic facilities and drinking water facilities, then what, if it, what will be the benefit of uh, uh, improving maternal health and the neonatal and child health? Because all these will be severely compromised. So that is basic thing. So other thing is that uh, it will further compound the already existing prob health issue in India and the problem would acquire new con uh, complexities. As I have told you that uh, it encourages the unnecessary use of antibiotics thereby spreading antimicrobial resistance. And then there is also uh, without uh, this as I have told you uh, no, uh, no infection control can take place and also then there is also uh, 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 the right to sanitation or hygienic uh, uh, facilities it not ju is not just a simple right uh, it also has the uh, it it, uh, it with it comes also the right not to be uh, infected by by such uh uh, pathogens uh, that that are that that are coming out of unmanaged fecal waste. Uh, so here the most relevant group uh, group are poor people and marginalized groups. Because uh, uh, if, for example, we are providing proper sanitation facilities to them, but if in case they are ge uh, getting infected from the fecal matter of other other people uh, that is unmanaged, then certainly th that their right will be violated. So uh, this this uh, human right to sanitation also implies that they they are not uh, negatively affected by unmanaged fecal waste so uh, this uh, which disproportionately affects poor and marginalized groups uh, because they are infected by other other people's managed and managed fecal sludge and sewage and then there is also uh, 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 these interventions implemented by government of India or uh, or any government in the world such as provision of clean uh, pipe drinking water is provided and then excreta disposal is provided and promotion of hand washing is done uh, with soap uh, and they are frequently implemented and campaigns are launched, are launched time and again uh, uh, keeping in mind the relevance of these uh, uh, these uh, uh, these we can say uh, this this procedure uh, and it, it reduces infectious diseases and may also be linked to child development outcomes and also uh, uh, it has been found that uh, diseases like diarrhea and uh, cholera uh, such diseases can uh, can, uh, can be considerably controlled uh, due to proper hygiene and sanitation interventions and then also then there is issue of uh, uh, you, we, we, uh, we should not just link uh, this uh, issue with the uh, with the health of children we should also link it with the productivity of children and also educational learning outcomes of the children so for, uh, for example if uh, if uh, uh, the child is healthy he is uh, he is drinking safe water and he, he has proper hygiene and sanitation facilities available certainly he will not be affected by cholera diseases like cholera or diarrhea then also then there are problems of uh, malnutrition due to uh, due to lack of sanitation facilities so all these things can be prevented and in this can turn impact in on the uh, learning outcomes positively so learning outcomes can pr improve absenteeism can be controlled and then also productivity can be enhanced so pre it is a, it is not just a prerequisite first of all note that wash is a, is very important prerequisite because no amount of health intervention can yield results unless they are the, these three things are met and it is a prerequisite and then also it contributes to the livelihood school attendance and dignity and it helps to create resilient communities have a living in healthy environments and then also there is uh, uh, drinking unsafe water obviously impairs health through illness like diarrhea and then children are affected cholera uh, all by all these things so also this untreated uh, wastewater or excreta uh, contaminates groundwater and surface water and this creates a heavy burden on communities and also com chemical contamination of water is going on so these uh, these facilities are important uh, are playing a key role in preventing numerous neglected tropical diseases so also wash is recognized by united nation 
as a as a essential element of quality universal health coverage and also as a fundamental human right and is also cost effective so in this way the, the wash facilities are important so uh, here so much uh, number of points have been mentioned but how you have to approach simply there are broad uh, broad uh, three uh, three three four, uh, three four points through which you can start so in sim simply you can link uh, say that it is a prerequisite and then there is also recognition of it as a fundamental right and then uh, there is a, uh, a direct outcome of these uh, these uh, this uh, these facilities on children health and then there is uh, there learning outcomes and then uh, the the impact on the uh, neonatal, neonatal and maternal health and also then there is a uh, issue of productivity and all these things so in these th lines you can uh, uh, sum up your body and then you can focus upon how to improve so how to improve the, the major issues of how to uh, improve on the existing conditions so for example if the uh, uh, world health assembly has passed the resolution uh, to to, uh, to cover all the healthcare facilities by 2030 then the ways to improve is that uh, there must be proper in depth uh, assessment of the standards and the accountability mechanisms and uh, there must be proper study that what, what are the health outcomes of following these approaches so a lack of quality baseline data is a major issue because authorities uh, fail to understand the gravity of the gravity of the problem but in, in case they 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 get an idea then they can uh, work out workable uh, plans and there must also be national road maps must be drawn and also there must be clear and measurable benchmarks so that uh, uh, focus can be made upon improving and maintaining infrastructure above that benchmark so that uh, to ensure that facilities are fit to serve and also there must be uh, uh, there must be a, a focus upon instilling a culture of health and sanitation uh, and uh, these uh, uh, all uh, hygienic practices uh, uh, to uh, th that must focus all healthcare facilities and also the general community also which is affected by all these problems and then there must be information campaigns that must target facility administrations as well as uh, uh, small uh, small uh, we can say uh, uh, other para health workers so that they can uh, get an idea that uh, how wash can be used to in, uh, uh, used to prevent the infection uh, infection uh, expansion and also how it can be controlled so there must be clear inf infection prevention and control procedures and also uh, there must be also modules on wash services for example if a person is going undergoing training uh, uh, under its uh, uh, healthcare provide uh, service providing job then there must be proper module on wash service so that uh, it must be highlighted that what is the importance of these uh, uh, these things and also there must also be focus uh, uh, upon communities so there must be close uh, the close communities must be closely followed and they must be educated especially in rural areas and among the marginalized people who do not have the uh, 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 kind of uh, we can say awareness about uh, the gravity of the problem and there must also be collection of data in a, uh, in an effective way so that uh, uh, this these wash indicators become routine so it, uh, there must be proper data so that uh, uh, the healthcare authorities can know that how much uh, of wash facil facilities are available and how much they are effective so there must also be uh, then uh, the, uh, if there is a collection of data and if it is matched with outcomes certainly there will be a, a if the outcome is positive then there must uh, there, there will be a kind of motivation among uh, these healthcare authorities to spur innovation by documenting the links between policies and outcomes so there must also be a data dashboard uh, that should be developed so it is basically to ensure that uh, uh, how uh, how much facilities are available and how they are yielding result and what should be the future plan and there must also be a contextual increment improvement approach so all uh, these facilities cannot be improved all of a sudden so there must be incremental approach so with gradual uh, approach we can improve all these things uh, these but uh, though these seem ambitious but these are achievable so also there must be capitalization on existing regional policy frameworks that promote wash so it is not that uh, uh, there must be a centralized plan uh, local lo uh, local uh, at the local level various authorities and community also gets involved in these services and there must be proper uh, uh, learning uh, of uh, about the success uh, about the successful examples and there must also be the capacity of the policy making should be such that state government 
uh, 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 strengthens its uh, uh, the, uh, the local needs. And then there must also be focus on sanitation uh, from school level to within the families. So wash sectors being concurrent subjects, so it is important that policies have been formulated by central government and respective state government. So there must be active coordination and there must be adequa uh, adequacy, accessibility, affordability and quality and safety of wash services should be the main focus. So sanitation should be included within health surveillance systems to ensure targeting to high dis uh, disease burden settings and to support outbreak prevention efforts. So way forward is that it must be linked to other programs like antimicrobial resistance and then because it has a kind of multidisciplinary approach. And also we are shifting to sustainable development goals and sustainable development goal 3 is on health uh, which, which is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and to promote lifelong, uh, lifelong learning opportunities for all. This is goal 4 and goal 3 is on health and then there is goal 13 on climate change and goal 6 is about clean uh, clean water and sanitation. So there must be a clear linkage between these goals so that uh, a multi uh, prongs approach can be adopted and integrated approach can be adopted to address the, uh, the, the health concerns. So in this way uh, uh, the you people can proceed with this answer. So as you as as you have seen, friends, uh, this question has already consumed 15 minutes. So you can imagine that how much uh, how much of, uh, of time could be uh, consumed by had uh, uh, if we start discussing uh, five questions. So this is all about uh, today's questions. If you like the question, then do ensure that you like it, share it with your friends, and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. And if in case you are interested in ta uh, in our test series and also want to get the model answers or for that matter reference sources of all the questions then you can contact us on this mail that is achieveies21 at the rate gmail.com or you can also contact us at uh, this number that is 89689920720 uh, so this is all about today's video friends thank you have a very nice day ahead